JoJo's Science Show! Hi, welcome to JoJo Science Show. Today, we're going to be talking about my visit to Niagara Falls. It was really fun. You know, there's a lot of awesome signs at Niagara Falls that you can see. So I wanted to make this video to show you about hydroelectric power and show you some rainbows. Did you know that Niagara Falls is actually made up of three different falls? The Horseshoe Falls, the Bridal Falls, and the American Falls. Whoa, look at that waterfall, it's so powerful. <laughs> <laughs> the splashing water creates a fine mist. This mist causes rainbows to form. You like the waterfall? Yeah, it feels like 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 We saw so many spontaneous rainbows. It was really awesome. We even got to go on a boat and get really close to the falls. In the boat, you could really feel the mist. Rainbows are formed when white light goes through the water and splits into many different colors. This is called refraction of light. This works because when the white light gets split, the colors slow down at different speeds, making them visible at different points. Whoa, double rainbow! Did you know that in the summer, about 750,000 gallons of water fall from all three falls combined every second? Do you know how much that is? It's more than you could drink. So where does all this water come from? Four out of the five Great Lakes in the U.S. drain into the Niagara River, which then goes over these falls and into Lake Ontario. As we got closer to the falls, you could start to really feel its power, and it even made the boat rock. It was awesome, and we got really soaked. We can turn the energy of the falling water into electricity. This is called hydroelectric power. The height of the water at the top of the falls is the potential energy. Niagara Falls is about 170 feet tall. That's a lot of potential energies. And when it starts to fall, it turns into kinetic energy. That's the energy of movement. The kinetic energy of the falling water can be converted into electricity by turning a generator. The principle is similar to my water wheel experiment. Hydroelectric power is a form of renewable energy. At Niagara, they have statues of Nikola Tesla. He was a really amazing scientist who helped develop hydroelectric power. Nikola Tesla and George Westinghouse developed the first hydroelectric power plant at Niagara Falls. Thanks for watching JoJo Science Show. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to my channel so you can become a kid scientist too. And ring that bell really hard. Ring, 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 ring! So you'll receive notifications whenever I post a new fun video. And remember kids, science is fun! In the summer, all three of these falls combined and fall. <laughs> <laughs>